Hello, this is Michelle and I, and here is your May Astrology. Now, I was talking to someone the other day who said to me, Michelle, you never ask anyone to subscribe, like, or share, and you should. So, from the bottom of my heart, I'm asking you, please, would you like the videos if you like it? Press the button, or would you subscribe or share them? I really would appreciate it. Now, here's your May Astrology. This is the astrological update for Taurus for the whole of May. Now, I am coming to your house for the party this month. It is probably going to be the best month of the year for you. It is oozing with potential and delights and fabulousness. Okay, everything's going retrograde, but you know what? You are the one sign that actually quite likes that because you're very fond of the past. And you're like, yeah, baby, take me back to the past. Bring it on. You may have friends connect with you from the past. You may experience all sorts of adventures connected to the past. And that's your idea of a good time. Everyone else is struggling, but you're like, mm, okay, I don't mind. You might also be tempted to do something and reinvent something from the past, which is okay. But please don't sign any contracts until the 23rd, if you can help it. Because Mercury is going retrograde and that's not necessarily a good thing, unless it's something that you know, had already happened. Now let's start at the beginning. On the third, straight away you're on a high. You're like, mm -mm, I am loving today. And that is because we have a sun in your sign trining Jupiter, the planet of good fortune in your house of pleasure. Yeah, pleasure is your buzzword for the whole month. It's a, this is the month to enjoy yourself, indulge yourself and allow yourself to be creative and full of wonder. Now we have one of the most important events on the 6th and that's a new super moon in your sign. Now, what can I say? This is the super moon is your birthday wishing moon. You can make a wish on that moon. You can reinvent yourself. You're starting again with a clean slate. You're like, okay, the past is behind me. Right, what do I want from this next new cycle? Put your dreams out there, put your wishes out there and walk boldly into your new start. We also have the Sun trying Pluto. You're going through a transformation of thinking. You're confident enough now to talk to the world about what you want to study, what your philosophy is, what you want to learn. You may decide to even relocate. Some people may be going, you know what, I'm going to go and live in a different country. But it's quite radical. Now on the 10th, it's good news as Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, in your position of pleasure, is going direct. So you can get some new pleasure. You can get interesting creative experiences you can have a lot of people around you that you adore you can be having joy happiness and passion now that jupiter is going direct we also have venus trying jupiter on the 10th come on uh, venus in your sign trining jupiter now even if you don't understand astrology it matters not but all i can say to you is this month brings you love happiness and wonder even if you are going through the darkest times there will be lights at the end of the tunnel for you, there will also be people that touch your heart and soul, people who want to connect with you. There's a sense that love will find you even in the darkness. Now, on the 20th, the sun moves out of your sign, but it's taking you to a place where you feel secure, where you're ready to build foundations. The full moon on the 21st, a little bit tricky as it hits your emotional depths, your primal energy. So it's like life, death, rebirth. It's jealousy, obsession, desire and makes you super, super sensitive, but be careful it doesn't make you paranoid. You don't want to end up like a character in Game of Thrones. Now, Venus, Mercury goes direct on the 23rd, by the way, happy days. You're like going, right, that's it. Now I can sign on the dotted line. Now I can sort things out. Leave it a couple of days if you can, because it tends to still have a little effects, even though it's, it turns around. Now, Venus, your ruler, is moving out of your sign and into um, a position for you where you're, again, you're laying foundations and you're feeling secure. This is a top month and uh, you're opening up to your sensuality. It may be that you have a whole host of new passionate and sensual experiences and suddenly you're free to really express your sexuality in a new way. Mars may be bringing in an ex-lover at the end of the month. But you've got to decide whether, you know, you want to go forwards or backwards. But either way, you feel very much in control. 
Let me know what happens. And I do hope that some of these wonderful things that I see come to you very soon. Take care. If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care.